well, we've made a really good start in the league, but we're still having trouble getting players in. Let's see if we can change that. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here. Welcome back to my FM24 with Western Supermare. So, we actually have had uh, pretty decent results, but let's go on to the transfers first. Because I'm working on a couple of things and I'm hopefully they can get them off, pull them off. Firstly, we've sold Jacob Jagger Crane to Dulwich Hamlet for 2.9k. He's off the books. But we are probably going to ruin that immediately because we've got Harvey... I'm looking at a loan deal for Harvey Rowe and Ewan Williams from Charlton. We made the offer and we offered the chance to Ewan Williams. He's still deciding. So Harvey Rowe will hopefully be one as well. We really need a, a defender in there. We've also offered a contract to Miles Sona. Sona? Yeah, Miles Sona. He is formerly of Aston Villa's academy. He was released. I watched him during the uh, England trial trial game. We've offered him about 250k a week, I think. Yeah, 250k a week. That's going to screw our wage budget again, but I can make more sales than necessary. I don't want to run this place into the ground before I get promoted. So... <clears throat> In terms of the fixtures, where's my schedule? We, I decided, I was originally going to come up for Bath City, but it was a midweek mid game and I didn't know how we'd perform. We did very well. Goals from Sam Avery and Ruben Reed helped us beat our rivals. We also beat Tombridge Angels 1-0 thanks to a Dale Grubb goal. So we're going to face Slough and Farnborough. So we're just going to head straight into the uh, Slough game. <coughs> Lay it on positive for now. We are going to walk the ball into the box. I keep, I keep meaning to change this because I keep doing the hit early crosses. And all they do is they just hit crosses from one end to the other and it doesn't go anywhere. So we've got Purnell and Gold, Kempster, Avery, Pope, Thomas, Lindley, Morton, Dodd, Grubb, Bastin, who is coming in for the for B. Edwards, who is a little bit tired. Or oh, at least he was. I don't know what's happened there. And we've got Reed up top. So. Yes, there's a few people actually lacking that sharpness because they obviously they all have day jobs because this is part time, this is non league. You know, bottom of the bowels of non league, so we don't train regularly. So, we're going to face Slough Town FC. They are 19, they're not doing well, so we can hopefully turn the screw on them. A little bit optimistic there. I'm going to be, actually, no, we'll leave it on the formation for now. We can hopefully get some of these players in because we really need the reinforcement. We have like no um, no depth whatsoever. I can't even fill my subs bench. Oh, that was that was a penalty. Oh god, yeah, there's no VAR here, so it just whatever the ref says goes. And Dodd uh, Reed gives us the lead. I wasn't sure it was taking the penalty there, but Dodd got taken out in the box. Apparently, that's a good early start. Inside five minutes, we get a penalty and we uh, take the lead. Oh, that puts us on top. Yay! <coughs> Ball's picked up by Lindley into Avery. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste from Bastin, but it does get us another corner. Let's have a proper end swinger. Come on. Oh, Grubb's got it. Uh, tame shot. Oh, they've got an early injury as well. I feel like they could have passed that ball across. Bass and I think it was completely free on the end there. Oh, head over from Morton. Just to be safe. I don't think I put any real opposition instructions on that side of what I was recommended. Then to show the wing is onto the weaker foot. Just to make sure. Oh, we got another corner. Oh, okay, fine. Suit yourself. What the what? That was so weak. Basically, just pass it to their goalkeeper. Jesus, guys. Good header away. 
Ooh. That shouldn't have been missed. That was dead on. That was nailed on. Where did I go bass in at half time? Kind of hard because you suddenly remember you've only got three subs and I've been used to doing it with five. Where he just kind of uh, in the league is five now. Then that would be my own. Good tackle by Morton there. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking hopefully we get this win, we win against Farmer, that sets us off for a good start to the season. Because I think I'm probably... I would like to get promoted first attempt. I don't have another goalkeeper. You've got to be kidding me. That's my only that's my only goalkeeper. I might have to go in for an emergency loan. Uh that's gonna be next one. Fucking goalkeeper injuries in this are ridiculous. Right. Um Have fun. Sorry, Humphreys, but I've got no choice. I think he's broken his shoulder as well, and I don't have anyone else. Just switch that around a minute. Don't believe that is my only goalkeeper. Although I think Lee comes back next, either next week or in a while. I'm really hoping we can hold out here because that is not ideal. Oh, cool. That's nice. Sam so Everett with second goal of the season from centre back. Oh, almost a goal for Grob there, but oh well. All right, that's full time. We get a good 2 0 win. But that injury to Purnell, how long is he injured for? <laughs> Fuck. Three to four months. Right. I am going to have to try and get a goalkeeper in. I'm going to send the assistant that one because I've got an emergency to deal with. Right, we're going to try and approach to sign. Yes. You'll be important. Oh yeah, fuck that. No, nine hundred low. I'm I'm not paying somebody that at this level. Uh, I feel like this could be a bit of a problem. Yeah. Yeah, this is the huge thing when you have no money. Uh, I need to see if I can get another loan in and somebody who won't want a wage contribution. Um, now that I'm out, so another major fucking player. Okay, give me a second. I will. Uh, Get through the Farnborough game. Okay, we're right before the Farnborough game. Um, I've got some transfer updates. Miles Sonha has come in, so he is starting in the team for this one. Or so Sona. Unfortunately, in terms of transfers, you and Williams rejected us and went to Welling. Because unfortunately, one of the issues I have had is that we've had quite a few players reject us because we aren't our squad isn't strong enough. But we're still Jury Sal and Harvey Rowe. And we've also made an offer to loan in Brooklyn Gensini from Swinton Town. You know, home, my hometown club. 
We are unfortunate over the wage budget. I'll try and deal with that at some point in the future. I have to check the schedule, by the way. We are facing um, Hemel Hempstead like two days after this game, and I don't know if I've got play enough players fit enough for this, which is not ideal. So that's very, I mean, that's really poor scheduling. And then we're playing immediately on Saturday again. That's bad. What the fuck? Anyway. So we're going to go ahead and there's a tactical meeting. Uh, do that. Anyway, so we'll be going with... Lee is... He's... Keep an eye on him, but we'll have to sort that out. Kempster, Avery, Sonar, Sona, Thomas, Morton, Lindley, Grub, Dodd, Bastion, and Reed. If I will change out Bastion and Robbie Edwards. It's going to be necessary. Anyway. Oh, we need to keep my Sonar squad number. Oh, uh, well, Let's not throw that too out of whack. Let's not give him 11. All right. So, we've had a really good run of form. I think the hemel Hebstead game will be a struggle. You won't see that. That'll be off camera. So. I don't know where Farmer are on the league table, to be fair. So we're in the white again. We are at home. So. so if I'm for a 10th in the league table, we're top. Ref, I saw I saw that trip. That was blatant. And they don't see that. Fucking refs. You see, the, the, no VAR down here basically means like if the ref calls it, it happens, or if it doesn't see it, it doesn't happen. So that's gonna be fucking difficult to deal with. Corner defend here. Ah, you should be getting them, that, Thomas. Come on. That was... Wait, what the fuck happened there? Don't know what the hell that was. Shit. And we're going to turn this down. Actually, it is moving way too fast. There we go. Good catch. Go, yes. Oppie Edwards gets no. Okay, I don't think I don't think that was offside. Honestly, I think he was on there. I think they've just made that shit up. But there's no VAR, so we can't reach it. So we can't reach check it. Oh, we're still hitting the early crosses. I keep meaning to turn that off in the main thing, and then I keep forgetting to do it. Yeah. Nope. We'll go to whipped crosses as well. Because we're just pointlessly hitting the ball up and it's not going anywhere. Good tackling, but nobody was behind the ball to pick it up. Good save. Really shouldn't be relying on whether his finger the way it is, but I've got no choice. My other, my other goalkeeper's out with the display his shoulder. Let's start the second half. We've got to have a better half because I really need a result. I'd love to keep up with five wins in a row because we've got to face Yeovil at some point, like the strongest team in the league. We've got some other really tough games coming up. Oh! 
Oh, whoa, whoa. What a goal from Hayden Lindley. What's his spilt there? That was incredible. Goalkeeper comes out to punch. Ball comes to Thomas. Morton passes it to Lindley. And Lindley just hits one. Foot like a traction engine. Fuck me. That's pretty good. So that gives us the 1-0 lead then. Still think that goal from Hoppy Edwards should have counted, but whatever. Good header out, but no one really goes for it, so it's going to come straight back in. Good block. Come on, somebody get the interception in. No, that's... Yeah, because otherwise they're just going to end up scoring. All right, I'm going to make some fitness subs because I do need some uh, people fresh. So, I'm going to put Maspero on. I'm going to put Bastin on and... Pope can come on for Morton. Switch these two around. There we go. Then my three fitness subs, and then I can just work out who the hell's going to play later. Because I've got basically got another game like two days later, and I have to figure out who's fit and who's not. Catch from Lee. So, to be honest, yeah, Farnborough have had the better chances in the match, but we're the ones with the goals, so I'm okay with that. Oh, and Lindley gets, Lindley gets a second goal and probably puts the game to bed. That was a good goal, actually. Proper ran in and just slotted it home. It's uh, been a good start of the season, actually. That's uh, five wins in a row. Should be. Yeah, that's five wins in a row. But again, we've got much, much, much harder um, games coming up. Grub's going to be rested on Monday. Oof. At least Lee's got through the game. He was injured, so that's a very, very good relief. So we'll hopefully be able to get good with that. Be able to continue with that. Good steal by Lindley, but then just a poor pass. Good steal by Kempster, though. All right, now get the ball forward, even if it's just doing nothing. That's ah, not getting the ball forward, Maspero. Come on. Oh, well, final whistle's gone anyway. Excellent. I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't say we were the underdogs there, but whatever. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's technically Harry Lee's um, Vanarama League South debut because he broke his finger in a friendly. Oh, we've got more than one person now here. Oh, no, we had three for when we beat Bath. Yes, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. There we go. Yep, five straight wins. And then we're still doing the map pre match preparation for Hemel Hempstead. Unbelievable. Only two questions, Mike, really. So, uh, I mean, is there a full set of... Yeah, there's a full set of fixtures as well, so everybody's going to be knackered. So, all right, I'm going to go into the Hemel Hempstead game. I'm not going to do this any longer. So I'm going to go straight into the Hemel Hempstead game. Um, I'm going to catch up with you guys. So I'll get through Hemel Hempstead this for, then we'll come back for the FA Cup second qualifying round once we figure out when the draw is. So you will see me play in there. I would imagine that's why they've got the Monday game, actually, because they've got to get make room for the FA Cup second qualifying. So, 
yeah. I'm going to come back for the FA Cup second qualifying round and the game against Truro and the Vanarama South. So this has been a great start. I still need to get the players in. Obviously, we've got the two loans, unfortunately. Uh, Luke Williams to understand, but there we go. He went to Welling as well, which is in, I think they're in our league. Yeah, they did. Stronger squad, but they're 18th. All right, see yourself. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Cam Run. Thank you for watching.